has been achieved. Not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn I have sought justice. <laughs> and for the defense, uh, slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, Andreilfus and General Major Scuttlebutt. Huh? I, just... I need a drink. Yeah! Yes, here, here. Where's the barman? Mixologist. Oh, brother, spare me your ill-gotten sense of self-worth and just get me something with gin in it, will you? And for you, uh, madam. I'll have the... rabbit's head, I think. Certainly, ma'am. Place your bets with me, gentlemen. Right over here. Down is your job, you Okie dokie, everyone. Everyone's got their bets in, got their drinks. Okay. Let's get these trials going. I got a Massachusetts manor to possess in like two sunrises. All rise. The dishonorable Judge Tedeville is presiding. Hi, everyone. Hi, Judge Tedevillis. Yeah, hi, cheers. What's the first, uh, you know, whatever? Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. Oh shit, this is ours. I mean, it's the one Polly once thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. Why, another open and shut case. Start blunting the axes. No, no, you, you, your honor. We know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity. Using hair samples to create a twisted, rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival that fired him. But why would a carnival fire a warlock, Your Honor? He was hired as a fortune teller, and customers complained that their futures were too depressing. But that's beside the point. The point of fact is that my client, Roberto Spaghetti, is innocent of all charges. Wait, is that is that true? Is Roberto actually innocent? Yes. Are you... Did you not read the case file? Study the Earthbird transcripts? Earthbird transcripts? case file? Andy, we've only been on this for like the last 10 fucking minutes. Okay, I think we've heard just about enough of this. It's clear the defense is just trying to sway the judge's sympathy by appearing incompetent. Absolutely not, Your Honor. In fact, I hated Roberto more than any of you when I first met him. I thought he was guilty. I did, I'll admit it. I judged him for his accent, for his candor, for his kindness that I perceived as symptoms of an oncoming fever. But I was wrong. I have in my possession a signed confession from the Warlock himself that will completely exonerate Mr. Spaghetti from all wrongdoing. Wait, do we... do we really? Yes, whoever said that. The Warlock died in a Warlocking accident just five minutes ago, and he plea bargained for a lesser sentence to get Roberto off. Our client didn't do anything wrong. You have this confession with you? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, right. Your Honor, how about we have a break for some lunch? You know, let this jury rest their laurels a little. There is no jury. The idiots you see here are just an audience. Well, I mean, I personally wouldn't mind having some hush puppies right about now. Counsel, do you have this confession or don't you? Are we really letting this happen, Lola? Apollyon's not gonna give us the seal if we let him walk. But Roberto's a good guy. Counsel? Yes, I, uh, I have it right here on my phone. It's, uh... I took a picture of it with an app that makes... It turns your face into a rabbit. It got banned for being racist for some reason, but uh, I downloaded it before it got taken off the store. Here, see? Huh. And I, Julian the Warlock, do solemnly swear that it was me who am responsible for all those deaths. Me who am? <laughs> oh, you put that... Sorry. It's an inside joke. We were at a restaurant ordering food, and then I... Time's up. Trial's done, and none too soon. Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti, the court of karma magistrate, finds you! Not guilty, by reason of sorcery. Ah, <sighs> grazie. Uh, I'll shower Mr. Spaghetti this? is to be immediately released from the guardianship of custodial angels. Let's all pray he enjoys nature documentaries, because God knows that's all they fucking watch up there. Skittlebutt, we did good here tonight. We really did. I hope you know that. We saw that... that due process isn't just a town in Alaska. And you can really make a difference if you try. 
Yeah, well, I hope we didn't just screw ourselves with this. Your boss, Apollyon, really didn't want Roberto to go free. It's kind of the whole reason she sent us here. I'll tell her what happened, don't worry. She couldn't have had all the facts. That confession came in last minute. Thanks, everyone, for coming out tonight. The High Courts are proudly sponsored by cupidity, racial fanaticism, an unquenchable hunger for political power, and Reebok Fuel Pump Sneakers. Pump up your life with Reebok. Bye! I don't feel good about what we just did, Lola. I mean, I'm glad we got to help Roberto, but I'm nervous we've just made things a lot harder for us. I know it sounds selfish, but it, I, I, I don't know. We did the right thing, Milo. Roberto was innocent. He doesn't deserve to be here. I would hope if someone could help us in the same way, they would. I guess the silver lining is we never have to see Polly again. Milo? Lola? Uh, maybe. Apollyon wants to see me. Immediately. Good a person is her right now. She's waiting for you at the school, your straggler. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, guess we should go to the Strangler if we want her, uh, her seal. 